Hello friends, I am Kavita Jakhar. In today's video lecture, I explain about cipher and cipher techniques that use in cryptography for securing data information. These are the outlines that I will discuss in this video lecture one by one. What is cipher? Traditional symmetric key cipher, these two types, substitution cipher and its type and other one is transposition cipher and its type. Next one is modern symmetric key ciphers. It's classified in two categories, stream cipher and block cipher. First one, what is cipher? Sometimes cipher called a cipher. It means it's a algorithm for performing encryption and decryption. Or we can say a series of well-defined steps that can be followed as a procedure and an alternative less common term is encipherment to encrypt in cipher or in code is to convert information into a cipher or a code in cryptography is mainly based on cipher system and the idea of cipher system is to distinguish confidentiality information in a way that its meaning and purpose is unintelligible to an unauthorized person there are two common use of ciphers first one storing data securely in a file and transmit data across and insecure channels such as internet through a wired network or a unwired network to perform encryption and decryption cipher is considered as an algorithm or a series of well defined steps that can be followed as a procedure the original data, for example, plain text is encrypted and is known as a plus, means encrypted through a XOR operation or a using Fermat Lutel theorem and using for a Euler theorem and some mathematical theorem. Other one is a traditional symmetric key cipher. Traditional symmetric key cipher are classified in two categories. First one is substitution cipher and other one is transposition type cipher substitution cipher and transposition ciphers are technique by which we convert plain text or original message into a cipher text so that uh, if anyone a taker or a hacker want to access or monitoring our communication media then they never understand what's the actual message sent by the sender to receiver first one substitution technique cipher in substitution technique cipher, actually one letter or a one symbol replaced by the another. So this method was widely practiced as it was simple to implement. If the symbol in the plain text are alphabetic character, we replace one character with the another character or one character with the another number or one character with the symbols. For example, ABC is a plain text with PQR or the number or symbol such as ABC replaced by the 1, 2, 3 and ABC replaced by the star, hash and dollar. Like that, uh, suppose A replaced by the D and B replaced by the E and so on. So, if we want to communicate or if we want to send to uh, message to our friends like messages ABC. So, ABC through uh, ABC sent through insecure channel so that first we encrypt this message means ABC converted into a PQR through a cipher technique so that if anybody monitoring or eavesdropping our communication then he and she does not understand what's the actual message sent by S because PQR seen by her on him or PQR is the encrypted code now next one type of substitution cipher for the substitution cipher converted uh, classified in two categories monoalphabetic and polyalphabetic in monoalphabetic there are different ciphers scissor cipher additive cipher multiplicative cipher and affine cipher etc and similarly poloalphabetic cipher are um, uh, further classified in plain uh, Playfair cipher, wizard cipher, one uh, word name cipher, hill cipher and one time 
prepared cipher etc we studies these ciphers in detail one by one in next le video lectures second transposition techniques actually tra transposition techniques differ from this um, substitution technique in substitution technique one letter or one character replaced by the another but in transposition cipher there are the reordered of symbols or reorders of uh, characters or reorders of numbers it means transposition ciphers use the concept of permutation transposition ciphers changes the location of symbols instead of substitution one symbols from another uh, for like that a symbol is the first position of the plain text may be appear in 10th position of the cipher text or a symbol on the 8th position in the plain text may be appears in the first position of cipher like that uh, for example plain text is good morning then plain cipher text is g o m r i z o d o double n it means this message if anybody monitoring our communication then he and she received this message so this message can't be uh, through this message he and she can't understand what's the actual message sent by the sender or receiver so only authorized person convert this message into a good morning because the what key is used by the sender that key known by only the receiver Uh, other example is kavita is a plain text and a i t k v a is the cipher text here first character k appears in the fourth position and second character a appears in the first position similarly third character v appears in the fifth position and fourth character i appears in the second position and so on now next one is types of transposition ciphers rail fence cipher it's called as sometimes zigzag cipher red fence cipher simple simple columnar ciphers and multi columnar ciphers and double columnar and double row columnar row ciphers it's the uh, are the types of transposition cipher these are also we study uh, in detail one by one in next upcoming videos now modern symmetric key cipher in this whole operation performs in binary digits means in form of zeros and ones the modern symmetric key cipher tends to represent digital data in string of binary digits means zeros and ones usually bits or bytes and like letter of alphabets the binary string are converted or are encrypted into other binary strings by the modern crypto systems in order to protect the data modern modern symmetric key ciphers further classified in two categories first one is stream cipher and other one is a block cipher the stream cipher first uh, first stream cipher and block ciphers play a vital role in symmetric key ciphers let's let's discuss about them first one is stream cipher in a stream cipher encryption and decryption are done typically on one symbol at a time or we can say stream cipher generates a key stream or a sequence of bits or bytes used which are used as a key and they can consider much faster the plain text is usually combined with the key stream then is with the or operations in this method to give synchronous stream generating the key stream with not be depending on the plain text and cipher text for example here plain text is p1 p2 p3 cipher text is c1 c2 c3 and key is k1 k2 k3 so that when we want to convert or when we want plain text into a cipher text convert into a cipher text then p1 encrypted using k1 and to c1 if we want to calculate c2 then p2 is a plain text encrypted with help of k2 and similarly p3 encrypted with the help of k3 to c3 here this is the plain text so goes through 
this is algorithm or uh, we can say a cipher conversion and there is a key one by one key is comes and convert into a cipher text means one first one letter comes from a plain text and one letter comes from a key and then both combined with XOR operation and then convert into a cipher text next one is block cipher block cipher is not similar a stream cipher in block cipher there are work on the block of message or block of keys or they uh, similarly convert into block of cipher text so the block cipher transfer a fixed length block of plain text into a block of cipher text of the partic uh, some particular length using a secret key the recipient applies the same process but in a reverse to the cipher text block using the same secret key in order to decrypt the information data a single key is used to encrypt the whole block even if the key is made of multiple values cipher text block depends on the whole plain text block we can utilize the block cipher methods to encrypt an information arbitrary length for example the, uh, the size of plain text message is 6 bit block then the key size also 6 bit block so that encryption operation performed on 6 bit plain text or a 6 bit key then we got 6 bit block of cipher text so that we can say cipher text uh, block size depends on the block size of key and plain text so uh, here heel cipher and place uh, playfair ciphers are also the type of block ciphers block ciphers in my uh, upcoming in my upcoming two three videos i explain some mathematical functions like modulo expand, uh, extended euclidean algorithm euler theorem fermat lutetia theorem multiplicative inverse jacobi functions ring field and uh, closures properties because these all mathematical functions are used in cipher so that first we learn about these mathematical functions and after then I explain one by one each ciphers in a detail. Thank you.